Hello everyone and welcome back to another mathematics video. Today we'll be looking at the partitioning method for multiplication. You might have heard of it as the split method before and if you hang around to the end of the video, I will share a bonus mathematics joke for you. I promise it's really funny. So to break down partitioning, or basically partitioning is breaking down numbers, it's making multiplication problems a bit more easy to calculate. So if we had the example of 15 multiplied by five, um, we can make it easier by turning it into 10 by five, which is 50, and then five times five, which is 25. Now, what we do here is we use the place value of the number. So we've got a 10 and a five, the tens in units there, and we break them up and we keep the, uh, the number we're multiplying by the same. And then we just add the two results together. So we've got 50 and 25, which of course equals 75. Um, it's a really good method and we're going to go through quite a few examples and you'll do some yourself before you get to hear your amazing joke. Here are the two examples we're going to start. We're going to start with two digit by one digit. So the first one here is 58 multiplied by 8. Now I can partition 58 here into tens and ones. So I'm going to do that by having 50 multiplied by 8. Now we get 400 here. If you need a quick way to multiply these two numbers, please look at my multiplying by tens, hundreds, and thousands video, as it gives a clear explanation. I'll leave a link in the comments. But very quickly, basically, you can just multiply five by eight in this instance, which gives us 40, take away the zero, and then add it back on to make 400. And then we have eight times eight, which is 64. Then all you have to do with partitioning is to add these two numbers together, which is 400 plus 64, which will give us, of course, 464 as our correct answer. Second example, another two digit by one digit multiplication. We've got 29 multiplied by seven. And um, with this one, of course, we're gonna partition 29 because it is the bigger number and keep seven the same. Because we can't partition seven because it's just seven. Um, so 29, we're gonna partition it in tens and ones again. 20 by seven, again, we can use that same trick. Two times seven is 14, add the zero to make 140 and nine times seven, which is 63. And again, you just have to add the two numbers together, which gives us 203 as your final answer using partitioning. So don't forget when you are working along with these sorts of questions, um, write it out in your books just like this and uh, you'll get a really good idea of, of how it works and it does help you with methods like area model and extended area model and um, yeah, just improves your computational fluency with mathematics. A couple more examples. These ones are a bit harder though. We've got three digits. The method stays exactly the same. However, this time, instead of partitioning into tens and ones, we are gonna partition into hundreds, tens, and ones. So with our hundreds, we have 200 multiplied by five. Again, you can use that same technique or any other technique. Five times two is 10, add the two zeros, which give us 1,000. Then we get, go to our tens, 60 multiplied by five, which is 300. And last one, six multiplied by five to equal 30. All we have to do is add those three numbers up and that's gonna give us 1,330 for our answer for the first example here. Moving on to our second example, let's do another one. 188 times three. Again, the same technique, we are gonna partition into hundreds, tens and ones. 100 times three, as we know, is 300. 80 times three is 240. And eight times three is 24. And just add them up. 300 plus 240 plus 24, which will give us a great answer of 564. So now what I'd like you to do is I'm gonna give you two questions and I want you to work them out yourself at home, maybe on a piece of paper, maybe on a whiteboard, however you like, and pause the video after you've started and then we'll go through the answers together and we can see if you've uh, grasped the partitioning method. So your two questions are 91 times two and 355 times four. So I'll give you a few minutes now, we'll obviously just pause the video and then unpause when you're ready to go. Your working time is up, thank you for unpausing. Uh, it is now time to go through the answers. So we've got 91 multiplied by two as our first question. We are of course gonna partition 91 and not the two into 90 multiplied by two, which equals 180 and one multiplied by two, which equals two. Then all you have to do is add 180 and two to get 182 as your final answer for the first result. Uh, the second example, we are going to go 355 times 4, 355 times 4, sorry. Uh, so again, we're going to partition the hundreds, tens and ones. 300 multiplied by 4 is 1200, 50 multiplied by 4 is 200, and 5 by 4 is 20. Add them up, 
give us our final answer of 1,440. Well, thank you for listening and you've been very patient, so it is time for our awesome maths joke. It is a bonus joke and we'll see how we go with it. Why did the student do multiplication problems on the floor? The teacher told him not to use tables. <laughs> uh. So if you'd like to hear more jokes or never hear any again, uh, please let me know in the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe as I'll be putting out some more. So thank you again for listening and hopefully you have a good understanding now of the partitioning method for multiplication. We'll uh, see you next time. Thank you.